Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be going over the AT Launcher and how you can make your own Minecraft mod pack using the AT Launcher. So first things first, when you install the AT Launcher, what you want to do is you want to go to accounts. After you click on accounts, you want to log in. And after you log in successfully, it should have your name listed down here. If you don't see anything down here, just double check to make sure that you did log in correctly. And then what you want to do next is you pretty much have two routes to go to creating, start creating your Minecraft mod pack. You can either use a pre-made pack, which you can click packs and it's going to show all of the current already made mod packs on all of these current platforms. Or if you wanna make it from scratch, what I'm currently going to do for this video is you're going to go to vanilla packs. So for vanilla packs, you can put whatever you want for the instant name and description. And then after that, you can select version. But if you want to just stick to vanilla Minecraft, you can also just stick to vanilla Minecraft and select the experiments. Of course, if you change the filter to any of these, certain some most mods, if not all mods, will be unsupported. But what I recommend doing is just sticking with releases if you're making a mod pack. And then after that, you can select the loader. So for this video, I'm going to be using Forge, but you can choose Fabric, Legacy Fabric, or Quilt. And then after that, you're just either going to be selecting create a server or create an instance. So if you want to play with your friends, you want to make a mod pack, a multiplayer mod pack, I would create a server. If you want to create a single player mod pack, I would create an instance. And for this video, I'm going to be creating a single player mod pack for myself. And after that, you just click create instance. It's going to take a little bit of time to load. In worst case scenario, it takes a couple minutes. And uh, once it's done loading, what's going to happen is it's going to be put into your instance folder and then after that, well, I'll show you what to do and the steps to follow. So I'll, I'll give it a couple seconds for it to complete, and then I'll be back as soon as it's done. Okay, so once it's done, it's going to say Minecraft 1.20 or whatever version you selected installed. This this uh, icon is, or not icon, but this menu is going to pop up, and then you pretty much just click OK. And then after that, where you want to go is you want to click on Instances. And this is where you will find all of your Minecraft mod packs that you created or installed. And of course, if you created a server mod pack, you would click servers, don't click instances. Um, and then to actually start the process of making your own mod pack, all you do is you just click mod, add mods. You add the whatever mods you want to choose. So I'm going to choose JEI for this one. And then you're going to get another menu that's you're going to have to click add. So you're going to get multiple menus. I'm going to be selecting a mod down here that's going to show what happens when you actually need a certain mod that's like required for this certain mod to work. So this is what happens when you do that. It's going to tell you, hey, you need to install this mod below here first before you can install that. So all you have to do is click add. And there actually might be multiple of them. And then click add again. And then finally, you can click add again. And then that would add this mod that you selected to your Minecraft mod pack. And then after that, you pretty much just click close on the top right. And then you can edit your mods to see what mods you've added. You can enable, disable them very easily by selecting and just enabling and disabling them. And then finally, what I would do to actually start the process, I would click play and make sure your Minecraft mod pack can launch and play successfully. And if everything works out, great. If you run into an error, I would recommend keeping the console open because the console actually will sometimes help guide you to figure out a solution to that error. Uh, sometimes if a mod doesn't work out and it crashes, it will stay in the console mod whatever crashed or not crashed or didn't load properly or something. And then you can easily disable it or you can try to f configure and fix it yourself. But that's pretty much the end of this video. I hope all of you enjoyed watching. I hope this helped lead you into making your new future Minecraft mod packs. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them uh, in the comments. And again, I appreciate everything uh, that you guys have done. You can find all the links to this AT launcher in the description of this video. And if this video did help, feel free to drop a like. It is very appreciated. And if you are new here and if you decide to subscribe, welcome. I do upload Minecraft content late daily, or not daily, but weekly. But um, I hope all of you enjoyed watching. Remember to have a safe day, to have a great day, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye-bye.